So my order finally came in here of brackets for my pop-up lights. I got four of these for forty dollars. Right, instead of giving one for like twenty bucks, they're used, but they're in very good condition. And if one's not perfect, I got three left. So let's take a look at what we have here. What we're dealing with, we have one light with obviously a broken piece. Let me get the stuff off the hood and show you. So as we can see here, I'll try to zoom in a little bit more. There's my piece, which is completely unhinged from the part that holds this light up. So we're gonna remove these eight millimeter screws, three of them, and we're gonna go ahead and replace this piece completely. Let me see if I can get a little closer. And we're gonna take off this existing piece. Oh, my bad, it's actually a 10 millimeter. I thought it was an eight millimeter for sure. So we'll begin to loosen, not tighten. Loosen these pieces very easily. There's one, just put those there. We won't need them because the replacements have them. You want to pay attention to your shims too. Here you have a shim that's also going to help you to have clearance and reinstall them if necessary. There's piece number two with this washer. And three. Super concerned about that piece falling. Here's the shim I was talking about right here. I'm just trying to get that screw in this other spacer piece here. We'll keep all those and if necessary keep them and then grab the broken piece. And as you can see, it's broken from right there. Also, it's pretty important to note you want to go ahead and take out the other side too because in order to put the male fitting inside the female shaft, you're going to want to do that ahead of time and there's just not enough clearance to do this any kind of way. So to avoid breaking any extra pieces. Now, this is going to require some alignment after you finish. In my particular instance, um, I have removed the light assembly and the other things to clean up and do restore projects. Okay, so, I'm just going through the process of, this is easy work too, just removing these screws so that we can get the whole fixture out. This may fall a little bit, but it's okay. We get the spacer and the last nut off at the same time. to come out, place those there, and now we should be able to get our clearance enough, even though I, I'll adjust this up so that I don't get caught up. The other side came out with its spacer. Now we'll take out the problematic side. And as we can see here, that's the part, other side of the part that is broken. So now we can, uh, we can do both sides now at once. So now we'll put back the far side back in, which was fine in the first place, that fell out. All right. And then with your clearance, it's important to make sure you still have that washer in there. You can put your new one in, take your screws out, and put this back together. So there's a couple things to note when doing this project. Otherwise, you're going to be a little bit frustrated with alignment and trying to get this working. One is, and I'm going to demonstrate with this piece right here. 
um, when you're doing this, the D or that part of the angle, it doesn't fit any which way. This has to be facing that way, going back in. And also, you want to pay attention to the orientation of your pieces here because the pivot has to be facing closer to the front and the two back ends are that way. Otherwise, the holes are not going to line up. You can kind of see over here how it's done, right? The D is facing that way. And if you look on this side, again, the pivoting point, the, the part that goes to the tunnel faces farther forward and the, the triangle goes to the back. So keep that in mind. Um, so far, I got the, the first one in, and this looks mangled, but I'll, I'll straighten it up there. And after you finish or you get them in, you don't want to tighten them too much because you actually want to get that sleeve. What did I do with my sleeve right here? You want to take this sleeve and you want to push it in after you have everything and then tighten everything down. So you get it, sleeve goes in on the outside in between the screws and the actual uh, pivot for the mount. But I'm going to get the other two screws in first and then I'll put the sleeve in there to make it nice and easy. I'm going to put on my other glove to prevent from cutting myself on any of this metal. Or no. And look at my angle. Put that there, right? Just like that. And so I'm going to leave this loose because I want to get the other side in also. And I don't need a sleeve. I'm going to check my other end here. Yeah, I just need the sleeve on the outside. This piece here. Right here. Look at how that's oriented. Make sure I grab the pieces with the washer. And for the clearance I gotta make up. And it looks like that one went in too. And so now we could begin tightening down. Now it's important to note there's movement in all of this, so you may run into where you have to make adjustments to make everything line up fine. We'll do that later, especially as we get the assemblies back on, the lights back in. We'll know exactly how to adjust it, but we're going to tighten it down just for now to make sure the mechanism's still works. holding my sleeve of my extension against the bodywork so if it's a little loose it has something where I can ratchet back and continue for progress. Again, not too tight. I'd say about seven pounds most maybe. These are gonna be adjusted same anyway to align the lights up correctly with the hood and the rest of the body. And so there you go. This is now back installed. And so if I lower the lights down manually, because I believe, yes, I still should have the proper clearance. 
Now notice, I think, oh, that's all. I just had it not set. They're gonna go down on their own a little bit, but the more important thing is they're gonna rise better. I think there's a little tension in the system, but they are working accordingly. And this should be better once, uh, yeah. I think I got something back there. You gotta make sure you don't have anything back here to keep the lights from falling. Now, I think the more important thing is if they get the rising back up, do they rise? Do they catch up and rise similarly? Lost video for a second, but yep, you can see they both rise up at the same time. Um, they will lower too. I just have some things a little bit in the way, but you can see them both lowering, not at the same time, but this shard right here is there. But more importantly, if you try to raise them back up, you see the forks connect and the manual mechanism um, is working appropriately. Have a nice strong brace again and three left in case something happens. So until next time, guys, have a good one.